semi-truck driver arrested for shooting at another driver in a road rage accident. Jesus Christ. We're heading down to Ocala, Florida. Am I pronouncing that right? Because you're from Florida. Ocala, right? Oh, yeah. All right. It's, yeah, o Ocala. O-C-A-L-A. Yeah, yeah. Ocala. Ocala. Right? O Ocala. O Ocala. Yeah. We're heading to Ocala, Florida. Oh, driver, it is funny because I am heading down to Florida by way of I-75 where this incident has happened. Let's get into the story. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. A Virginia truck driver was arrested in Myron County for his involvement in a road rage accident that happened on March 3rd. On Sunday, Sunday, get it, Sunday, a, My a Myron County deputy responded to a Love's travel stop in Ocala to a report of shots fired during a road rage accident. The victim said he was driving a semi-truck on southbound on I-75 when suspect die line. Is that the same die line for making the band die line? Die line, die line, die line, die line, and die line because I spit hot fire. Through a water bottle at his truck, the victim pulled over to confront but decided against it and drove away. Die line allegedly continued to follow the victim and eventually pulled alongside of him and then firing several shots towards the victim. Hold on! Now, let me stop the show right there. Could that be a main reason why companies don't allow weapons on their trucks? Maybe. All right, let's continue. Authorities say the victim slowed down to avoid being struck by bullets. Wow. And then, the re and then oh, wait, wait. If I'm reading this correctly, it says, then the victim returned fire towards Dylan. So both of them were oh, shooting. Oh, shit. Dylan. Then drove to the Love's travel stop, but eventually drove away, continuing southbound on I-75. Through the investigation, the deputy was able to identify Dylan and retrieve dash cam video from inside of his semi-truck showing Dylan shooting at the okay. victim. On March on March 6th, a couple of days later, they located Dylan and he was put under arrest and transported to county jail where he remains without bond. Damn. Dylan, 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 and Dylan. Because I spit hot fire. What's your thoughts on, on that? Stupid. You stupid. Over a bottle. I don't want you stupid. Oh, you know, my mom's always tell me because she calls me every day, make sure that her son is out here doing good and make sure that her son is all right. My mom's tell me every day, oh, leave, leave these people alone, man. These people is crazy. Oh, she listened to my podcast, especially about the podcast about drivers getting into it with drivers in the fuel life. She says, she says, LaShawn, that's my name, by the way, if people don't know. You don't be bothering people in the fuel island, do you? Like, no. <laughs> like, no. I, I said, I sit in my truck and wait my turn like everybody's supposed to. But I say oh, these drivers, oh, they really, really get in their feelings about being stuck behind another driver that might be holding up the fuel mm -hmm. island. I, I I say they make videos about it, and some of them are even confrontational. And I I feel those are the ones that that are confrontational is going to get their check cash one of these days. Uh -huh. I I told my moms I said there's there's a video guy that always sends video to this to this one YouTuber that shows drivers in the in the uh, fuel island. 
And I said that particular driver just well, he gets out and and be confrontational, even though he's not even he's not even a victim of there. Like he usually will park on the other side, be behind a truck driver that's fueling, but he'll he'll take his time and get out and go to other drivers that are that are in the fuel islands and try to put them on blast. Right. And I tell my moms, I say, one of these days, he's going to get his check cash, like for real, for real. So, no, I, I don't. I, I tell my moms, I said, no, I don't. I, I don't bother these drivers. I, they're not wired. Half of these dudes ain't even wired. They they not wired right. Like, for real. Like, I, I don't mess with them. I go on about my business. I stay to myself. I leave these cats alone. I don't even I, I don't even talk to them in the fuel islands no more like I used to. And I, I told her I used to have like like quick conversations and all like no. Mm -hmm. No, I pull up, get my fuel, go on about my business. Yeah. You, you know you don't see you don't even hear no more from a um, bonehead trucker anymore. Nah, he still no nah, bonehead trucker still 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 rocking and rolling. He he got up. He just posted a video an, another an, another driver talking about another driver in the in the fuel island he, he just he he he, he did that oh, okay this uh, driver over here talking over here trying to put prime on blast but the but the but the angle of the video don't even show that the that that particular driver was in the fuel island but a lot of these drivers like the like the be in other people's business and and again, like I said, oh, they they going to get their check cash one of these days. They going to they going to find the right outlet. Wow. Dude going dude going to write that check and that other driver is definitely going to cash it for him. So, well, hell. So, yeah, but this driver right here, he pulled out his pew pew and and yeah. shot at the truck and and by the look and by the sounds of the of the article look like the other driver had a pew pew too and it returned so fire. He didn't get in trouble. So they going down they they go they they going down the highway. Wow. On I-75 shooting at each other and, and not even not even putting up regards for the for the traffic that might be around wow. imagine if there was a car in front and 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 the driver the driver slowed down while dude's still shooting he pulls up and he's shooting at the car mm, 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 mm. and i got your question no it doesn't it doesn't say any repercussions to the to to the to the victim that return fire so yeah i bet the company but they just they there. just said they yeah yeah I, I i would imagine so i w i would imagine so again if you if you have a pew pew on your truck now i i get it for protection i get it for your personal protection i i i am i say if you if you're a company driver and you decide to bring bring it with you never say on social media that you got it and only use it when you need it maybe that scenario would have been cause for it but think about if you did get hit by one of those bullets what you, you going to end up doing especially if yeah what would have happened if he did get hit by the bullet he's gonna mm -hmm. he's gonna crash yep. if it's a fatal yep. if it's a fatal shot you you have no control you're gonna have crash no control that vehicle mm -hmm. Yeah, both of them yeah. because it's it it said in the article that both uh, the other guy returned fire. So what if what if he would have hit the guy that was shooting at him? Yeah. But yeah, man, leave 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 these drivers alone. Dylan, 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 and Dylan because I spit hot fire.